Measuring time. Time in hours. May I come in, sir? No. Look at the clock. You are late today. What time do you wake up? I wake up when the sun rises. Can you read time in the clock? No, sir. Okay. I'll teach you how to read the time. Look at this clock. It is divided into 12 equal parts. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 12 it has two hands one as the hour hand short hand and the other as the minute hand the hour hand takes one hour to move from one number to the other number for example to move from 2 to 3 the hour hand takes one hour so it takes 12 hours to complete one round of the clock full hour or o clock time When the time is in full complete hours the minute hand is at 12 look at the time shown in the given clocks 3 o'clock 11 o'clock 4 o'clock 9 o'clock half hour or half past time when the time is given in half hours the minute hand is at 6 look at the time shown in the given clocks half past 1 or 1:30 half past 7 or 7:30 half past 3 or 3:30 half past 10 or 10:30 quarter past hours when the minute hand is at 3 the time is read as quarter past it means the minute hand has covered 15 minutes for example the time shown in the given clock is quarter past 12 or 12:15 quarter to hours when the minute hand points at 9 the time is read as quarter to it means the minute hand has covered 45 minutes and the hour hand is close to next hour for example the time shown in the given clock is 6:45 or quarter to 7 time in minutes We already know that there are 12 big divisions marked on the clock. Each big division has 5 small divisions. Each small division stands for 1 minute. So, there are 12 into 5, 60 small division or we can say 1 hour equals to 60 minutes. There are 24 hours in a day. Remember Left half of the clock says number of minutes to the next hour. Right half of the clock says number of minutes past the hour. AM and PM. Children, today I'll explain you the concept of AM and PM. AM or AM stands before noon or ante meridian. PM or PM stands for afternoon or post meridian. We know that the first round of the hour hand completes at 12 o'clock midday or noon and the second round of the hour hand completes at 12 o'clock midnight The time from 12 o'clock midnight to 12 o'clock noon is called AM The time from 12 o'clock noon to 12 o'clock midnight is called PM For example I wake up at 6 a.m. I go to bed at 9 p.m. Remember, there is no a.m. or p.m. written with 12 o'clock noon or 12 o'clock midnight. There is no o'clock written with a.m. or p.m. Calendar. Didi, is time measured by only hours, minutes, and seconds? No. Time is not only measured by hours, minutes, and seconds, but also by weeks, months, and years. We know that there are seven days in a week. Does the number of days in all twelve months also same? It is correct that every week has seven days, but the length of all months and years is not the same. Look at the calendar shown below. Some months have 30 days, some have 31 days, 
and February has 28 or 29 days. How many days are there in a year? An ordinary year has 365 days, but a leap year has 366 days. Extra day is included in the month of February. Conversion Months into days A month may have 28, 29, 30 or 31 days. But while converting months into days, we normally take one week is equal to 7 days, 1 month is equal to 30 days, 12 months is equal to 365 days, and 1 year is equal to 365 days. Example 1. Convert 7 months into days. Solution. 1 month is equal to 30 days, therefore 7 months equals to 7 into 30 days is equal to 210 days. Example 2. Convert 5 weeks into days. Solution. 1 week is equal to 7 days, therefore 5 weeks is equal to 5 into 7 days is equal to 35 days. Example 3. How many days are there in 3 years? Solution. 1 year is equal to 365 days, therefore 3 years is equal to 3 into 365 days is equal to 1095 days. Days into hours. To convert days into hours, we multiply the number of days by 24. For example, how many hours are there in 7 days? Solution. 1 day equals to 24 hours, so 7 days equals to 7 multiplied by 24 to 168 hours. Example 2. Convert 9 days, 4 hours into hours. Solution. 1 day equals to 24 hours, so 9 days equals to 9 multiplied by 24 to 216 hours. And 9 days, 4 hours equals to 216 hours plus 4 hours equals to 220 hours. Hours into minutes. To convert hours into minutes, we multiply the number of hours by 60. Example 1. Convert 8 hours into minutes. Solution. 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So 8 hours is equal to 8 into 60 is equal to 480 minutes. Example 2. Convert 6 hours 30 minutes into minutes. Solution. 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So 6 hours is equal to 6 into 60 is equal to 360 minutes. And 6 hours 30 minutes is equal to 360 minutes plus 30 minutes is equal to 390 minutes. Minutes into seconds. To convert minutes into seconds, we multiply the number of minutes by 60. Example 1. How many seconds are there in 7 minutes? Solution. 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. So 7 minutes is equal to 7 into 60 is equal to 420 seconds. Example 2. Convert 9 minutes 45 seconds into seconds. Solution. 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. So, 9 minutes is equal to 9 into 60 is equal to 540 seconds. And 9 minutes 45 seconds is equal to 540 seconds plus 45 seconds is equal to 585 seconds.